open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So we just got back from clinic. We're actually gonna eat some lunch. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update from, you know, clinic appointment. Uh, I gotta fill my pill box, so definitely wanna show you guys that. And also just give you a, a sneak peek of just my regimen, you know, post-transplant. Okay, so first off, this is a makeup case. Thanks, baby. You always <laughs> have to point that out to everybody. <laughs> okay, let me explain. So, we wanted something that could fit all his medication, but they were all super expensive, right? And some just weren't um, spacious enough. Like, I have a lot of medications, and the whole point was to eliminate having to carry, you know, multiple bags yeah. or one thing not fitting over the other. So, I found she did this. Thing. She always does that, I'll be honest. I can't find nothing for nothing. And then I was like, just give me a sec. And sure enough, look. And it's like, all right. And it's really cool because, okay, so he has to always take these medications and he has to always bring this. My booklet. Also, his pill box, which is in there. Okay, let me just open it for them just so they can. So this is my so pill box. So the pill box, the binder, and all his medications he has to bring every single time. So we needed something that was like big and had lots of pockets. So this works out. It has space for all his like, you know, Masks, gloves, all that good stuff. It has, can you open that part? Yeah. It has, um, this is where the makeup brushes yeah. would go. This is where my pen is too. Another like the little inside. Yeah, right here. And it has how many, babe? One, two, three. Whoa. It has like ten. Yeah. And then these, you can move. So. Exhibit A. Yeah. You could take them out and adjust them to however you want. So, yeah. it's pretty cool. We also purchased this like pill cutter uh, because at some point, you know, they may say, hey, cut the dose. Um, and you can't necessarily make the dose for, you know, to that like size of, uh, or amount of milligram. So we purchased this one. Haven't used it yet. I always carry this like temperature, um, a hand sanitizer. So honestly, like at first I was a little adamant, to be honest, because one, things look very good on picture. And then when you finally get it, it's like completely different. And, you know, we got to a point where we were like, well, let's just get some basic, like, box like I had before. But she was just like, you know what? This is probably much more worth it. So, surprisingly, when it got here, it's sturdy, guys. Like, it's not cheap. Um, it's really, it's a great purchase. How much was it? Like 30? 28. Oh, 28. And then I also, um, I don't necessarily bring it anymore because, like, my O2 obviously is great. But I was just thinking, you know what? I'm just gonna attach my, my little pull socks. socks measure. Okay, also, this is the pill box that we got. And um, someone who also has CF and just got her transplant um, at Stanford recommended this. And this is the one that they gave her at Stanford. Uh, the one that they gave Jose was really it was small. small. Um, it was good, it just it kept opening, so. Yeah. Um, and we needed to attach like a rubber band in the middle. Yeah, so that to it kind of keep it locked. Yeah, so. so this one's really good. Um, and then we got I bought a label machine <laughs> and labeled. Um, as you can see, like 8 a.m. no food. There's a sad face. 9 a.m. food. There's a pizza. 2 p.m. food. Taco. 9 p.m. no food. Sad face. Which we do need to change this yeah. to 6 p.m. because he has no more 2 p.m.s anymore and yeah works pretty good slide it open slide it shut um and then these are all the meds and we also labeled these as well so these are all his so this is uh anti-rejection yes this is like anti-micro anti-fungal viral and bacterial these are just like vitamins um, and then this is stuff that you take as needed. Yeah, this is stuff that I take as needed. Like for example, I also have like Tylenol and uh, it's another painkiller. But again, these things are just kept here for uh, as needed, you know, situ situation. Then this is the medication that I take for uh, to treat the hepatitis C, because um, if you guys don't know or if I haven't expressed it, um, or if you guys don't know or if I haven't mentioned it, 
the uh, lungs that I have that I received from my donor were actually um, Hep C positive. Uh, however, the great thing about the lungs being Hep C at high risk, they're able to cure hepatitis. So I'm on, in addition to all these medications, I'm on this medication called Maverick, and so that's specifically to treat and cure uh, hepatitis. So this is every day at six with Prevacid. That's for like acid reflux. And so that was, you know, it was eight, nine, two, six, and then nine. And it's super, super important that he takes them exactly at six. Yeah, you know, uh, you have to be consistent, especially with, with, with I mean, with all of them, obviously, yeah. but with Maverick, uh, because now, uh, you know, if you take it at like at 603, 605, that's fine, but they, they really encourage you to be as committed to making sure it's on time because if there's if, a better chance if you alter the dose or if you make it a habit that'll have definitely you know i'm sure it'll have consequences in and the last thing we want is to get to this point and have to deal with something in addition you know so this is it's really great that now we can just eliminate the 2 p.m and do six because it makes more sense too mm -hmm. you know um of course these are my crayon but all these stuff guys right here like it's all thanks to Abby because she's really gone out of her way to to get me something that's practical, um, that makes more sense, like the pill box. Because if it were up to me, I'd probably get something that I think it's cool but probably wouldn't be practical, you know what I mean? Like I'd probably get one that's like a one week or, or, or something that's maybe like a whole month, but it probably wouldn't be as big as this. This I would have never thought of. I probably would have just been like, you know what, let's just get like a topo word thing. Um, another thing I do also want to mention is in addition to this um, Because I don't necessarily always carry this box when we're out and about so this is a little pill box that um, I got from a Dear friend his name's Jerry Cahill. He also has CF and he sent this to me with this shirt and a few other stuff, but um, it's funny because we were needing a Personal like pill box, you know when we went out. So this is something that is just practical works So I always carry this with me I'm gonna go get the label machine, that way we can label six o'clock. Okay, for sure. Okay, so this is the label maker. I'm going to be changing the 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. because now he doesn't have a 2 p.m. slot, or a time at 2 p.m. that he has to take his meds. And now every week, you know, our appointments were uh, set up for twice a week, so it was Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, however, thank God, fortunately, I've been doing very well, you know, so they feel comfortable now. Um, starting next week just going one day and so instead of Tuesdays it's just gonna be Friday so I mean we'll still have to do labs Mondays and Thursdays but Memorial Week is this weekend so um, we'll do labs Tuesday and then Thursday and then Friday but the point is clinics are now set for once a week and every time we go to clinic because um, we're only allowed to well they yeah they only allow us to fill the pill box up until the point of the appointment so for example today's Friday right I would usually fill it up until Tuesday morning and then obviously the rest of Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday you know and Friday would have been empty um, because they always make adjustments you know um, every time whether it be an increase a decrease uh, stopping something so that's why they don't allow you or they don't encourage you to fill it up completely because it can change, then you get confused and all that. And so this is my medalist. The highlighted areas are pretty much what they change, um, you know, for this appointment. Uh, but again, it's just all my anti-rejection medication from prednisone to tacrolamus or prograf or Celsat, um, antibacterial, fungal, viral. So it's a culmination of medications. Um, and usually at the end of the row, they total to, I'd say minimum 30 pills. I think at one point I was like, at 50 and that's not including my enzymes that I still take you know not 50 meals. medications not 50 medications 50 pills yeah. around there so um, but it's really cool because it tells him exactly what time he needs to take it at um, and it's just very organized so we go by 8 a.m. and then we go to 9 a.m. and then 6 p.m. and 9 a um, 9 p.m. Um, and that's how we fill it mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna make the labels and then we'll fill the pillbox. Sounds good.
right, guys. So I know you guys can't see me, but you know, we got it all figured out and corrected. So 8 a.m. again with an empty stomach, 9 a.m. with food, um, 6 p.m. with food, and then 9 p.m. with no, you know, empty stomach. Also, shout out to another friend who also had her transplant um, a couple, I believe, a month before Jose um, here in San Diego. She recommended this. And yeah, I bought it because <laughs> it comes with glitter tape. And yeah, it's just really fun. And it adds like a little touch to his pillbox. A little pizzazz. A little pizzazz and glitter. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's cool because at first I'm like, ugh. Oh. But, you know, after this, like, it makes sense. And the cool thing is that they have like different color options. So, again, it's very easy to distinguish what certain medications are for, you know? So, um, if Abby at some point, you know, is filling my pill box because I, for whatever reason, can't, um, it's easy, you know, we have to set up accordingly. So, uh, yeah, good purchase, babe. So, I've already taken my 8 and 9 a.m. doses. So, now I'm just going to pick up from 6 p.m. And then, pretty much, we're going to fill the whole box this time. So we start with the 8 a.m. meds. I usually just tell Jose, okay, I tell him all the pills that he has at 8 a.m. and then he fills them. So we'll show you. So the first one is Prograph. Pro and that is at 8 a.m. Yeah. And it's two capsules. Okay, so we are now done. So, let's show you. Those are all his meds. Now that we're done filling up the pill box, this is pretty much empty. The only thing that's left are the stuff that he takes as needed. So, and this is just an extra one. Okay, yeah. so. Pill box fill. Um, it's actually 36 pills uh, that I take, and this is you know a combination of uh, immunosuppressant, antiviral, fungal, uh, vitamins, uh, acid reflux. So that's filled. Now we just put this back in its place, and as you can see, it, every little section has its own place. Okay, so now we're gonna do something super exciting which is open up our packages that we got from our P.O. Box. Yeah, they actually come from uh, a subscriber. Her name is Guadalupe and her husband, Daniel. Thank you so much, And they're so very much, kind okay. enough, you know, like they reached out to us and like, we want to send some stuff and they, you know, they did it over the top because uh, it's two boxes. Now, I'm just going to have to probably get them because they, they definitely oh, weigh yeah. more than five pounds. Um, so I'm going to just sit here, but they're from Hawaii. I'm, it's really cool that... You guys did that, so thank you so much. We're yes, honestly excited you. to open it, so. Sorry if the lighting is pretty bad. <gasps> well. Okay, well I'll use one. Sorry. All right, so. We have to find good lighting. Here. I'm so excited. Whoa. Oh my. That is crazy. Good, thank you so much, guys. Man. It's her and her husband. Look! They're like spicy. I'm excited. Guys. What? Pineapple coconut balls. Oh my Milk, god. Milk chocolate covered Hawaiian banana. Are you kidding me? These are all Hawaiian treats, which is so cool because we haven't been to Hawaii, but we plan to. Babe. Whoa, look. Babe. Yeah. Pineapple 
banana. Oh my gosh. What? That's a Damien right No way. Oh yeah, look, it's right here. Yes. These are my favorite. They're Pop I probably one? never have like the real deal stuff like this, but these are cool. These are like red and green popcorns. I wonder if they're like spicy. Yeah. Caramel, creamy caramel and mascara covered in milk chocolate. Yum. These, these look delicious. These are like dino worm, gummy worms. They look spicy. Uh, she hit the spot. Coffee. Can I have your um, pineapple rings? I'll trade you for some chocolate. I'll have all the chocolate, you have all the. Okay, is that coffee? Yes. Whoa. Oh, thank you so much. And then she sent us, they sent us a blanket from Target. I love Target. Well, Threshold. It's a, we love this. I've been always getting stuff like that. Yes. What is this? What is this? Oh, pick, pickled mango? It looks good. It, look, it does look good. Oh, whoa. Yum. What is this? We have here. onion, potato chips. Shortbread? Coffee. Oh my gosh, I'm having these my <laughs> coffee in the morning. That's so, uh, you guys outdid yourself, honestly. Yeah, seriously, thank you so much. This is, this is way over the top. Yeah. We always, ex if anything, like, you know, when we talk about like, oh, you, just, you know, we have a few about, about like, a, like letter. a letter or whatever, like, <laughs> especially me, I like, well, both of us, like, just to hear from you guys and all that, but, I mean, this is like, just above and beyond. We were okay. so excited, I wish we could have vlogged it. We're so excited. We opened our <laughs> for the last time. What was it? The last time we we went, there was yeah. like nothing, and we we're like, oh. And we just like closed it. But this time, well, there was two huge boxes, and we we're like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, hold on. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Mmm. Babe, we have to try these. Mm. They're not they're spicy, but mmm. I have to put this over there because I'll eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right, guys. guys. <laughs> We're in sync. Yeah. I think this is going to be the end of today's video. It was super long already, but we wanted to give you guys a little update. There's like so many things that we want to film um, that we just need to, like, you know, film. Mm -hmm. We just have to get to it. Nope, it's just, believe it or not, you know. It's been a different, like, adjustment. Mm -hmm. And it's. Again, because we're so regimented as far as like, you know, medication and what medication has to be accompanied with food. Uh, it's not like we can just, where before I just had my enzymes, you know, and if I had to do my treatment, I could, you know, do it. I had leverage, you know, whereas now I, I don't necessarily have the leverage, which is fine. I, I'm not complaining. Um, but again, being in a different city, um, we're, just, we're just adjusting it. And as much as yeah. we want to vlog, um, Sometimes we just don't have the time um, or even like the energy. Um, but before we do end it and before the shout out, a little update. So today's clinic, everything is pretty normal. Again, minus adjusting some levels with some medication. There's a little bit of fluid in one on the right lung. On the right lung. But they said, um, cause I, you know, I tend to go a little crazy, which is not necessarily me, but this is a whole different new uh spectrum i always kind of freak out when the x-ray uh with the results because for one i'm not a doctor so i don't really understand every verbiage um and the things that i can identif identify i'm like okay but what i can't i tend to get like i said a little paranoid and i always overthink it and they told me various times if we don't call you after labs and x-rays don't worry about it things yeah. are fine you know the x-ray technicians, um, when they read it, they read it from a certain standpoint, whereas we identify things much differently and our approach is, is different. So sometimes they'll be very uh, bold or maybe, I guess, a little dramatic per se in how they ver you know write in the verbiage, where when we interpret it, we know what we're identifying. When he said fluid, like, honestly, I got a little freaked out because I'm like, uh, is this a sign of something else? But Keep in mind, and he even rephrased, it's a traumatic surgery. So even though I may not be, you know, swollen per se, I still retain liquid and eventually the body um, 
as my nurse said, they, it has to recalibrate. And so sometimes it'll send a leak, you know, leak would be found in certain areas, whether it be like in your lungs a little bit. And um, that's just completely normal. Usually within like the first six months, it's very common, you know? So that definitely puts some peace on my mind. Um, and I wasn't scared because Dr. Our doctor or his doctors, like his team, if they're not freaking out, I'm not freaking yeah. out. So. Which is funny because <laughs> usually I'm the one that's like, yeah. fluid, what, wait. Exactly. And she was so, and I'm yeah, like, you know what? Funny. If Abby's like, cool, and he's telling me, don't worry about it, then. Only because, like, I mean, they, you know, we trust them. So if they're like not freaking out, then. Yeah. So besides that, they're like, you know what? We don't really want to do nothing right now. If need be, we'll put you back on. Uh, Lasix, which is a medication that will pretty much push for all the liquid to, you know, drain out. And worst, you know, and sorry, our camera died. But worst case scenario, God forbid, right? Um, if I'm still retaining a little bit more liquid, then they, they probably would have to drain me out, which means they would have to put a tube. But crossing fingers, God willing, that doesn't happen. Yeah. So that's the update. All right, guys, but before we end the video... I always suck at these parts as you guys saw in the last video. So not always. Babe, you exposed me really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, a special shout out to Lupe and Daniel for again yes. outdoing yourselves and sending us all this from the letter, which is so thoughtful and hilarious, by the way. Um, but seriously, you guys didn't have to do this. A Thank simple so letter much. would have been amazing and great for us, but you you hit the spot with Abby. She's gonna be like all chocolate out. Um, you definitely outdid yourself with me with all these like gummy stuff. Now make sure that you guys subscribe to their channel. It's called yes. the Kirby Family. They're based in Hawaii, so we'll be kicking. I'll link it. Too. Yeah, we'll be kicking it with you guys pretty soon. Um, but yeah, everybody, make sure you go and subscribe. Again, this is all about supporting like real people, humble mm -hmm. people, and they're definitely that. So do that if anything. You subscribe, know, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Now if you guys want to shout out, make sure you subscribe too. The number Eddie like. Hit that post <laughs> notification bell so you don't miss a video. Give this video a like. Oh my God, I always mess up. Give this thumbs video up. a big thumbs up, <laughs> like, comment, and that's all you guys have to do. But guys, we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.